Yeah, so essentially when you're paying the $10,000 for a ticket, you should expect that the people you're going to be surrounded by are going to be much higher level than the people you're surrounded by at a free event, at least as a majority, right? You, even at the free events, you're going to have some of those big sellers. One cool example that I had here at the Tampa Bay meetup group, which is a free meetup, you know, do a speaker or whatever. And I was there sitting next to this guy talking to him and, you know, trying to help him out with this problem that he was having. And later on in the day, I found out that uh, he was selling Amazon wholesale as well, over a hundred million dollars a year, this <laughs> guy. So, you know, you never know who you're going to run into at a free Amazon event. Yeah, of course, uh, to the free meetup, uh, this kind of guy will come because it's happening next to his house or in his town yeah. or nearby. I don't think he was traveling from another state. So yeah. there are always in every town like really successful business people who are looking for socializing events and they see, oh, there is something happening. I will go there. So this is a chance for you to meet these random people like this. And uh, yeah, when it's more than uh, two, three, four, five thousand dollar ticket event this is more exclusive and of course not only that attendees are the higher quality more successful or like bigger running bigger businesses mm -hmm. but also the content is much much more stronger because event organizers have kind of expectation to fulfill that the content shouldn't uh, disappoint the attendees and that's why they usually implement they have like awards for the best speakers and the uh, speakers are really working a lot to bring something unique and uh, hacky style so that uh, the content is very very strong and it's not so easy to do that in the average event when the event is between 500 1000 dollar yeah it's kind of covering the cost of the organization people have to understand that organizing event it's quite expensive I, I heard uh, from one or some organizers in New York that just for the dinner, they have to pay like two or three hundred dollars, uh, which was a big, big cost f for us in Europe. We don't pay so much for, for dinners. So, yeah, when, whenever you see a VIP ticket that you have to pay an extra five hundred dollars, organizers are barely making much out of it because for that price, they also have to pay dinners for the speakers, for experts they're inviting for free and so on and so on. Yeah, it's it's a lot harder than it looks. I've organized uh, a few events and I think events is like one of those things where most people at one time is like, oh, we should do make our own event or whatever, because it looks so easy on the surface. Yeah. But when you get into it, it is extremely difficult to put it all together and especially do it profitably.